Psychic Goddess Erica. Today I am excited to do a fun topic for you and it is all about how I cast spells with my press on nails. So I'm going to show you a close-up of these in a moment but I want to talk a little bit about how I got into this. Um, so as always I truly believe that you can make magic out of anything as long as you set an intention into it especially the things you do every day your everyday task and one of my favorite things one of my favorite accessories is my nails i always say i would rather have my nails looking good and my hair looking crazy i can put a hat on i could throw it in a bun whatever but my nails need to be on point and part of the reason for that is that i think of my nails as little magic wands extension of their own wands to me because there is so much energy so much power in our hands um even if you were to do this action here this movement and there's so much in the energy in our hands that if you do it long enough you will begin to feel that sensation as if you had two magnets that push and pull feeling you will feel that in the middle of your hands that's how much energy how much power is in your hands so your nails are like a projection of that energy that wands out into the universe and if you saw my um, breathwork video how I manifest how I cast spells through breathing in my hand motion and I'll show you the picture of what that YouTube uh, thumbnail looks like here so if you saw that video you will see that I do a lot of work with my hands even with that breath work uh, as a way of putting things out into the universe so and my nails have always been also something important to me I work with them so much with pulling cards and with clients and just the power I feel it brings. It makes me feel powerful and magical that I started realizing that why don't I set an intention with my nails when I get my nails done, put some power into that. So every day I'm seeing a visual reminder of what is manifesting for me. And I got into press on nails. I've been wearing them maybe going on two years now. Uh, for a number of reasons. It's called more cost effective. I have more control over when and how my nails get done. Um, I It's a time saver. Um, and the list just goes on and on and on. And also on top of that, because I am applying them myself, there's nobody else involved with touching my nails and getting it, getting them done. I can infuse them with the intention, with the magic that I want them to represent. Um, so I'm going to explain what these are manifesting for me now, and I'll show you a close up in a moment, but I wanted to also tell you guys a quick story first as well. So, uh, maybe a month ago I did a set of nails. Um, they, I called them my prosperity mail, nails. They were green and gold for money and prosperity. And <laughs> the very next day after I did them and applied them with the energy I put into it, and when I say energy I put into it, all I mean by that is I, I think about, I visualize what I want to see manifest, and as I'm applying them, I'm, uh, you know, either speaking that intention into it uh, or I'm visualizing it. But the very next day after I did those nails, there were three peacocks on my roof. No lie, I live in Long Beach, California, and I'm going to show you the video in a moment. That was a huge confirmation for me from Spirit that what I've been doing with this is really working. And not even just the peacocks, but the whole week after that, money and prosperity was just flowing to me, flowing to me, flowing to me. So, um... The fact that there are three peacocks on my roof, I've always had a special connection with animals. And to me, birds are representing messengers. messengers. They carry messages. Um, 
The fact that there were three of them was also very symbolic uh, and magical. And peacocks themselves represent prosperity and wealth. They represent royalty. They represent transformation. In the metaphysical and magical world, peacocks are related to the phoenix, where they represent transformation, rebirth, and rejuvenation. So for that as a sign to show up the very next day after doing that magic on that set of nails, and I'll show you, that was confirmation, very strong confirmation for me and on top of that they actually kind of matched the nails i did so that was very very exciting and so i've been working you know being taking it even more seriously after i saw that happen in such a major way um so again before i show you the close-up of these and what they mean uh, i also wanted to explain to you guys also that you know i hear a lot of people say oh press on nails they come off too quick and this and that and this and that I have not had that experience for me. I can get my press on nails to last three to four weeks because um, I always keep the touch up glue near me or in my purse or my bag with me. You know, I can live life regularly if something does get loose or something really crazy does happen, it comes off, it's not that big of a deal. You just put it back on, you know what I mean? But if you take your time with the application, uh, maybe you wanna hop on YouTube and look up different ways to apply press on nails to get them to last, you know there's plenty of videos out there but as long as you take take your time with the application um really make sure you're cleaning the nails before you apply them um your natural nails before you apply the press-ons with alcohol pads or whatever else to remove the oil and dirt first and then buffering it and then using the right kind of glue um that's going to be really important and then all you have to do is do touch-ups in between every now and then um if necessary so i can get them to last three to four weeks and on top of that it's amazing because there's no fill required no fill-ins required um so just to show you guys this is the glue i typically use this is my favorite this is the one that usually works the best for me um some of the other kiss on, kiss glues and press on um sorry some of the other kiss Brush on glues are great as well, but this one is my favorite. My other new favorite product that I just discovered a week ago um, is this Kiss Glue Off to remove the nails to get them off. Um, and I like this a lot better than trying to soak them off, which is what I had been doing. So this is a lot easier. So this is a new product that I really love and recommend to remove the nail um, safely um, to apply it. And then also, the nails you'll see, my prosperity nails I had, those were handmade, hand-painted press-on nails that I got on eBay. I do find myself looking for custom-made press-on nails often on eBay, Amazon. Um, there's some other websites out there too, a lot of Instagram accounts out there now with it. And these are also um, hand-painted press-on nails. But um, if you don't wanna do all that, my favorite top three brands that you can find at drugstores, beauty supply, Target, Walmart, um cvs walgreens all of that is kiss kiss press on nails also impress press on nails which i think is also a branch off kiss and then goldfinger press on nails and those are very affordable you can find them like i said in drugstores um target etc so those are my favorites if you just want something quick and beautiful and i i've gotten so many compliments I've gotten more compliments since wearing press-ons than I ever did getting my nails actually done. And I've now, now that I've been in quarantine, we've been in quarantine for over a month now, I've also looked into, and I have them on right now, but I do, I have now ventured into trying the press-on pedicure and they work just as well for me. I've had mine for about a week now on. And the brand I used for that was Impress, the Impress Press On Pedicure. Um, and now I, that's the new thing I think I'm gonna keep moving forward with also. I do still enjoy getting a pedicure for the experience of sitting in the massage chair and having um, them making sure that my feet aren't rough or anything like that. But in the meantime and in between time, I think I am gonna continue to do the press on pedicure. And like I said, I, they are impressed, but I didn't use the glue to come with it. I used this glue to, to have it keep going because this works the best for me. So that's my new thing too. So now let's get into these nails. So I'm gonna show you the close up 
right now of these nails that I currently have on. explain them to you and I also want to say my favorite shape is the stiletto pointed shape because like I said for the purpose of it being a wand these are my favorite and it's just like when I put the energy out it's just feels really powerful makes me feel very powerful like pew 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 but <laughs> also uh, my second favorite shape would be the coffin shape or the casket shape um, if I don't do this particular stiletto type pointed shape so what I'm manifesting with these are, if you can see here, this is Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> and Jessica Rabbit to me, for me, is representing my sexual power, my, my sexual energy, my divine feminine energy, you know, embracing that, always remembering that my sexual energy is creative energy and it's powerful and it's magical um, and to continue to embrace and use it in very healthy and beneficial ways then i have this is just leopard print in um different purple and pink little leopard print cheetah type print but to me this was just fun and exciting to me just representing the fun and excitement and just joy that i'm trying to continue to manifest in my life this one here in the middle you see the lips with the teeth and for me, this is representing just keeping it real, speaking truth when I do my readings, when I talk to others, being real to and true to myself and others in communication. Um, that's what that is. Then we got the money here, bringing in the money, prosperity. And then this is a heart. It's kind of like, it's almost like the heart is just kind of like dripping in. The color from the heart is like dripping, but um it is a heart and to me that's just representing the love that is continuing to flow and manifest in different areas of my life in my relationship you know in towards my family and my friends love towards myself or love towards my pet you know just love all around so these are definitely things that i have been really trying to focus on lately and continue to try to manifest and I'm sorry if you hear any fan noise. Somebody just walked into the bathroom. So I don't know if you can hear it or not. But I just really wanted to share you guys. And I've been share with you guys this. And I've been really excited about doing this video for a while. I was just waiting for the right set of nails that I really wanted to show you guys on camera for this particular um, video. But I hope you guys try it. Uh, definitely, it's been working for me. It's also therapeutic for me to be able to do my nails myself. It's a form of meditation for me. You know, I always feel like med you can make anything like a meditative experience as long as it is soothing to you and channeling it, that active energy within you in a positive way. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, um, share with a friend, let me know your feedback, let me know if you also work with press on nails and if you plan to try this and um, if you enjoy videos like this or free tarot and oracle card readings, pick a card readings, don't forget to subscribe, hit the alert button so you know when I post a new video, no content like and share and i will talk to you guys next time bye